Hello, I'm Dr. Lonnie Herman, and welcome to HopeForYourCancer.com, and we're sharing with you more uh, nutritional supplementation, natural uh, uh, choices that you have out there to help your body help itself uh, uh, overcome this uh, life and death situation with cancer. And uh, today I want to share with you in this video about shark oil. And again, I want to make this statement before I make it again at the end, not every product is right for every person. Natural products used on your body, just like any medical intervention, may make you worse. So physicians who are helping you need specific training in figuring out for your body if your body needs this product or that one. I want to be clear about that. It's not just try it and say, well, that didn't work for me, so nothing works for me. You've got to understand there are specific things. Your body is a specific type. You have your own cancer. You are your own individual. You've got to be treated and taken care of as an individual. There is no uh, uh, factory of just everybody gets the same thing in this world. It can't work that way. It doesn't work that way. It never did and it never will. Uh, so you're an individual. But let's look at the research about this topic called shark oil. Not shark cartilage, shark oil and anti-angiogenesis. Angiogenesis means that your cancer cells have the ability to plant themselves in a weak tissue and area and they, they can actually grow new blood vessels attached to other tissue and feed off of other tissues. They can bring blood into themselves and, and, uh, and help them become stronger and replicate and survive. Um, sharks have been on this planet for 400 million years. Sharks have less than 0.1% chance of getting cancer. That's a lot lower than what we're hearing about human beings on this planet. Humans, they're saying the statistics are one in two men and two out of three women will develop cancer. Sharks have less than a 0.1% chance of getting cancer. Sharks have been placed in water with carcinogens added to the water and they did not get cancer. Sharks have specific enzymes circulating in their blood which allow it to kill invaders in its bloodstream. Invaders, if there's bacteria, if there's fungus, if there's parasites, uh, viruses running through the body, there is a certain theory that infections can lead to uh, ir irregular cell development which we term as cancer. Sharks have specific enzymes circulating in their blood that can help them beat those invaders in their bloodstream. Uh, there is a study that's on PubMed, a medical research website on the internet. And it's titled Inhibition of Proangiogenic Factors by a Lipid Rich Shark Extract. That means, inhibition means reduction in the production of, reduction in the production of proangiogenic factors, which means reduction, inhibition, stopping the creation of the the pro, the creators of the factors that make the cancer cell grow its own blood vessels into other tissues. So it can stop the blood vessels from growing to other tissues, which means cutting off blood supply to the cancer cell. Um, so in this article, and the source came from uh, a bioactivity investigation group in Wellington School of Medicine and Health Sciences in Wellington, New Zealand. And they said that Shark oil can stop angiogenesis or stop the ability of cancer cells to grow their own blood vessels into other tissues and survive that way. Basically, shark oil and olive oil can compete with receptors for vascular growth factors. That means that there are vascular growth factors. There are these different things found in chemistry. I want to make this as layman's terminology as possible to help you understand. There are different components of, of cells and tissues uh, that can actually trigger something to turn on a uh, factor that makes the cancer cell grow its own blood vessel to other tissues. And this can actually compete with those different chemicals that make those blood vessels uh, created. So it's not that it's just going in and cutting the blood vessel, it can actually stop the causative factor that is found in the chemistry around that cancer cell. It can stop that from creating the blood vessel. Inhibition of angiogenesis. Shark oil has anti-tumor effects, anti-metastasis effects, antioxidant effects. This comes right out of this research article in PubMed. Anti-tumor, anti-metastasis, antioxidant. You can research for yourself and read other medical studies in countries outside the US 
which show positive responses with shark oil. But again, it's not right for everyone. Shark oil may work for you or it may not work for you, uh, but uh, you've got to be very careful because you don't want to take it with all the hopes and just buy buckets of this stuff and, and think that you're doing yourself a world of good because it may not be the primary reason why you've got this this stress in your body that's creating this cancer in the first place, okay? So uh, not all answers are in just one simple little oil pill. But again, it may be right for you. But we've got to do the work to figure that out. So again, I want to thank you for letting me share more research with you. Thank you for letting me come into your home and, uh, and, uh, and, and share this with you. And hopefully, whether it's you or a loved one or a friend or, or a coworker who's suffering with uh, life and death, uh, stage three or stage four cancer, hopefully we get to meet with them and help them uh, or you get well. Thank you again.